You're getting worried, yes indeed. I know exactly what you need. A little sunshine will make you feel okay. Now look here, give the blues a change. Find a sunny place. Go and paint your face. Sunshine. Yeah. Um ongoing coordinators discussion or something like that. Or ongoing team discussion. Okay, okay here's team everybody discussion. else. Okay. Okay, can you see us all? Yep. Matt here too. Oh, Matt. Actually, you know, let me go this side. This side's better. Is that your good side? <laughs> it's the brain's better side. <laughs> yeah, everybody sitting on that side of the table. You have the light behind you, you know. Uh, speak up. <laughs> Say something. Let's see how you look. Can you see me? Hello. Say something more, Anna. I'm speaking. Very loud. There she is. Okay. Oh. So that's how she looks. Okay. Right. Hello, Anna. Hello. Okay. Yeah. We and are if go we on, can go through just so that I can yeah. put faces to names and also um, so that I know because there's the two Nicks and I don't know which one is G or B or whatever. <laughs> XYZ. Interest. I'm Nick G. Nick G. Okay. I'm Nick G. I don't know if I'm popping up on your screen or if uh, I'm speak a little. Loud enough. Hello, hello. I'm waving my hand. It's not. I don't know. If there we is. go. He, he's blind this week. I am. Okay. And so you're Nick B. Yes, Nick B. Okay. okay. Nick B lives in Woodbridge, and Nick G lives in Fairhaven. Okay. Matt, and, you're um, next. Yep. Uh, well, I was in the frame, but now, uh, anytime now, Mr. Uh, you know what? I'll just improvise. No, no other way. There, there he is. There, there we go. go. Okay. There. Okay. Matt, Matt has consented to be, I don't know what title, if you've gotten together with Karen yet or not. Um, no, we haven't. Okay. We haven't had that so like, yet. you know, I was envisioning team captain or production coordinator point person. Um, I am suggesting Anna as a as especially as a backup for him for communications. Well, it sounds like Nick G is ready to take on more. Uh, and okay, who's next? You've seen Anna, right? Yeah. Anna now has a house in Wolcott, and next to her is a familiar face. I hope. Hello. Hi, Alan. Yeah. Hello. How are you? I'm well. Okay. Good. For you. Good. You haven't popped up on the main part of the screen, but I can see you on the banner at the top. Okay, good thing. Well, we're, we're, we're I guess we're really testing the all today. <laughs> right. But so far, so good. See, I know that if I make a face at it, yeah. it's going to show up right at that time. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there. <laughs> Better faces. Better faces for everybody. Okay, uh, so. This is, since we only have one commission member as a meeting, we can note that all these people were present. Right. Little past eight and uh, the topic when we were talking about was what kind of feedback does the commission get from about the, the okay. channel everybody. So it can be he was suggesting if there was an ongoing Google Doc that they have access to and can read it would be sort of like a blog or a log book to That's say good. what kind of yeah. problems have come up. It would help each other and uh, and so on and, and and have something for you to discuss when when they see a problem, right? Yeah. Okay. Between, yeah. yeah, between that, yeah, actually, so finances, um, technology issues, any of those sort of things um, would fit well into that log. And then the specific scheduling in the calendar. And I think that that probably sets up a good standard automated way of getting information to commission members. And then uh, um, We've discussed at previous commission meetings about how often the commission needs to meet. And it seems as if 
by using a log in the calendar, having actual meetings could be reduced to the minimum required by statute. Um, and then, you know, so that's probably something like every three months or something like that. Um, and then we can, or if something comes up more immediate, we could address it that way. Okay. Um, will you be able to meet with your Zoom account, Alden? Because I don't know if anybody has the time to learn WebEx unless, do you already know what WebEx, Nancy, is um, something you want to do? I know a little bit about it. I know that we use Teams more at work. Uh, teams, there's- Is there that much difference between WebEx and Zoom? Is it that stark or? I haven't worked extensively with WebEx. I okay. I live in Zoom. Mm. Um, so, you know, and yes, I have, I've got a professional Zoom account that at least through next May um, that we can, uh, we could use for any meetings that we need to. Okay. Is the thing with WebEx is that it has a limited time because I know Zoom is always runs out of time. Is that, is that the thing about WebEx that's better is that it has if you have a professional, yeah, Zoom, oh, no, right. yeah. <laughs> Still if, you're, if you're going a freebie, then of course you're right. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they don't want to give that one everything away. Got it. Yeah, go <laughs> okay. To me, um, all right. What goes on with the commission? Uh, we've been uh, mentioned before you all came in um, and remind those of you who already heard it that. Uh, does selectmen want to discuss it before they go about looking to fill vacancies on the commission? So that's a big unknown that we have yet to see. And Pua, remind me, how many members are we supposed to be five members on the commission? Five members. We've been working with two vacancies until Teresa resigned. Right. So. Um, yeah, so hopefully at the next board of selectmen meeting, there will be some progress in getting new members on the commission and I can meet with the new members to help people get acclimated and then we can figure out once the new members are acclimated, what the uh, schedule of meetings would be. But, you know, my, pr my suggestion is that. Um, with this transition, basically close to a full new commission, as well as who are transitioning out into this new team approach being put in place that hopefully we can do as much online as possible and keep the meeting time from being too, too many, too long meetings. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay, there are how to's to be worked out. Um, writing up agendas and minutes. Do you want do you want somebody to ask Karen for that the commission needs help on that? Well, I think if we're only meeting, you know, and I'm thinking, and you should maybe double check on this, but if we're if we end up moving to a schedule something like four times a year, and special need meetings as needed. Um, and we have a good log of what's going on, then probably I can continue to, or I can do the agenda in minutes, or we can find some other commission member to do that. Okay. Yeah, especially if it's fewer. Okay. Right. About you guys, what, um, okay, keeping track of finances. I've always maintained my, I, I, I just made up things and I had my own way of tracking the budget. It might be easier to ask the finance department to send somebody uh, munis reports for the budget lines that we have. And um, what's a munis report? Munis is software for municipal, you tell them. Yeah, it's. Uh, Municipal finance software. Oh, okay. Um, because if it's being done and it's the record that the finance department uses anyway, then 
it's probably going to be more accurate than what I've been putting in. Um, mostly I've been concentrating on writing up how things work. Uh, and and forgetting about all the bureaucracy that I, I've learned how to do, like, as I was telling Nancy, oh, we need to replace the camera on the wall. We have somebody has to contact DNR labs. I have that written down somewhere. Uh, somebody has to write up a PAO, uh, a purchase order request to the department, identifying what line these funds come from and why we need this work done and what it's going to cost to buy it. We get that estimate from DNR, we send it in to finance, and eventually we get it back. And we use that to um, to tell finance what we're paying based on their invoice when it come when it finally comes back. Um, paper trail, and that's what keeps Woodbridge clean in the auditor's eyes, right? Yes, but it takes time. Yes, and Nancy knows how to do that. Yes. So Nancy says she's willing to take that on. Yeah. Great. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So if I, so if something goes out, uh, we have to replace uh, one of the laptops or something. Then I would contact you and be like, yes. let's do the yeah. Yeah. Well, you yeah. Well, first, first thing is that you're going to figure. Okay, we need to replace a laptop. It's an HP laptop. What are our options for replacement? Is there a place where we will get a uh, a government rate for stuff? Is there a larger IT contract where people are really replacing laptops for the school that we could piggyback on? When that comes, you have to fill out the purchase uh, purchase order request. Here's what we need. Here's how much it's going to cost. Here's what we need it by. Um, here's why we need it. Mm -hmm. okay. So to justify the purchase. That gets submitted, reviewed, it comes back, then the fund, then you're that is when you're greenlit to buy stuff. So you it's not a, well, I'm just gonna go truck out, buy a buy a laptop and submit a receipt. Yeah. Wait until we have the funds available. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Green light. Yeah. Yes. And and how and what long? could you hit the light switches? It's starting to get dark mm -hmm. and but it's the longest day of the year. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I bet you can see us better now. I know. It's yep. Right. <laughs> the gothy one is all mad because it's bright. Target lights. Yeah. Um, okay. So, um, so after that's... we finish talking to you, I think we're going to talk among ourselves about any holes in the information I've left them. Okay. So the other thing oh. that I. <laughs> Yeah, the other thing that I'm wondering about is um, if it makes sense to have an email distribution list for the team members and the commission members. Yep. Um, right. Because that way, you know, mostly as a commission member, I just sort of be there in the background and, you know, just paying attention. But if something came up, you know, as often comes up in, uh, the commission meetings of, well, we need to consider this particular expenditure and what sort of advice consent does the commission offer on that? So that's a place where potentially some of that could take place providing it meets FOI requirements of uh, um, some of the stuff we've done at commission meetings being done via an email distribution list. I can send you what I sent everybody else. Actually, I think I sent it to administration, but I will send that one to you as well. It also has uh, everybody's numbers if they all do texts. Yep. Great. I'm actually going to make it a point sometime within the next week to send out one of those group texts. So that way we just have everybody's numbers and we've got the conversation going. I would recommend looking up the FOI, the latest FOI presentation for all of us. So that we're at least aware of yes. what's supposed to happen. You're talking about the workshop from like a month or two ago, yeah. right? Yeah. I can send that. I can send that out too because I've I've actually got it yeah. marked on my phone. Yeah. 
there were three stations in uh, Vermont and New Hampshire that picked it up for uh, their own channels. Somebody had FOI questions uh, in my office and our compliance officer was out and so I sent them the link. Ding! They were very impressed. Really? Yes. Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> and in terms of the log of what's going on, these are sort of things that it would be good to have in the log so that when it comes time to speak with members of the Board of Selectmen and Board of Finance about the importance of um, GATCOM, it, to be able to say, yes, this is something very important that is being done. And, you know, and who knows what various things that we will have recordings that might go beyond the immediate purview of Woodbridge. Mm -hmm. So, okay, a log of what goes wrong, but also a list of all the productions we've done. Well, which, which I do keep in. No, which is I don't think. The, yeah, I don't think the list of productions because that's in the calendar, right? We, we should see from the calendar what's going on. I'm thinking uh -huh. more about the um, extraordinary, you know, like Nancy sharing it with folks um, where she works or you getting it bicycled out to people in uh, Vermont and New Hampshire. Right? Mm -hmm. It's those sort of things that aren't just part of the regular list of productions and who did what. Mm -hmm. Although we'll need that too for scheduling. Mm -hmm. oh, and and keeping track of the budget, I think. Right. Um, okay, to be worked out. But but for the public a blog and the calendar to help put things together. I know that every year when they start the audit I always get a question from uh, Karen Crosby about, okay, uh, how many meetings did you do and, and, and how many hours? So that, I, I guess that's a, the thumbnail of, of whether our department is staying within its expected budget. Mm -hmm. So um, that's why I keep the records I do that you've probably seen when you do the uh, scheduling. Uh, okay. You guys, anything else we're missing that Alden needs to know, especially? Not by me. How would you rewrite the job description if you were to go on to a better job and you wanted to write up what's expected for somebody replacing you? You're asking any of us? Which I try any of them, yeah. Oh boy. Um, I, I mean or okay. current or what is what I'm gonna be moving into. For them current. For okay. Uh, production assistant. Helping okay. out with live meeting yep. and streaming as well as Yeah, I've I've been defaulting to production assistant for a lot of my stuff lately. T V yep. scheduling setup. Yep. Set up and breakdown of equipment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Possible traveling yeah. with camera equipment. So we go to the uh, firehouse and please. Yeah, definitely ability to basic troubleshooting. Mm -hmm. Moving equipment around when you're switching from an in-person meeting to a virtual yeah. meeting. There there are details. Yeah. That and that's the part I've been trying to write up. Liaise with administration staff. Oh, that's yeah, that's definitely something that's, we're gonna that, be that with. used to be mine. And mm -hmm. now now you get you guys get to share. I was, I was telling Karen, uh, Karen and Tony the other day, um, it's like, oh my goodness, I'm actually sitting here on administrative matters talking to people. That's unusual. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to sit with them too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you, if you set up a meeting with Karen, see if you can get Nancy on the phone to be with you at least. So, because on the phone, I can it, you know, and try and come in. Uh, I usually work from home on Fridays. Okay. Um, I've had some family stuff recently, but we work from home for this. And just so I'm on the same page here, so this is the meeting that discusses, like, our changing job titles and all that. 
Yeah, you should talk about yours with, with Karen and then bring in Nancy, I'm suggesting. Okay. Okay, because there's a hunk of my job that she can do that I wouldn't want to load on you. Okay. At this point in time. If that's all right with you. Yes. Thank you. So there's there's details to work out. If we're designating Matt as the point person, it doesn't mean he has to do any, everything. He just has to be in touch with everybody else to say this needs to get done. Yeah, right. Right. And you're in work. Can, can you help? I mean, it, it's it's for lack of better terms, the first time I've ever seen a promotion in my life. So this is. <laughs> Aren't they fun? In a sense. <laughs> Aren't they fun? I mean, it's 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 a new experience. I mean. Uh, I'm, I hope I'll break into it. I, I trust that the rest of the crew's got my back, and I'm and I, I know you do. It's not even a question of if. It's yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's just like, been a bit to take. Yes. Yeah, listen, what 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 Teresa always used to tell me when they talked me into buying a new honking big piece of equipment, she always said, "Take baby steps, mm -hmm. baby steps first, and uh, I think that'll get you through." Uh, also. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention to Alden was uh, from one of my meetings with Karen and uh, Tony, they said, well, we think um, we should cut down to just four meetings a month, you know, the top three boards and TP and Z. And when I came back to the team, they said, but we can do more. Why can't we do more? Yeah. And their reaction was, oh, we don't mind. We just thought it would be easier for you guys. So just. To which our response is essentially challenge accepted. Yeah. Mr. Star Trek. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go over which meetings absolutely positively have to be. Yeah, there there is an uh, there is an order higher. of magnitude. Right. Yeah. The, the big ones were selectmen at TPC and uh, finance. Mm -hmm. and then I think on our like ideally to cover each month was inland wetlands and. Uh, Nick B. Police and fire. Police and okay. fire, yeah. You know, which are mostly in person in their stations, and, and Nick has well said he's going to take that one. They're also not particularly long in duration, usually. No. But well, if I, very tight spaces. if I recall properly, all of this is was well defined in the policies and procedures of the commission, yes. right? Yes, I will pull that out for everybody. Thank you. Good. Yeah. Actually, that should be posted on on the web page for the department or the commission and or the commission. And um, you know, my my sort of general understanding and recollection of the policies and procedures was that at a minimum there are those four meetings a month and that's sort of the bare minimum that we want to meet and we want to do as much as we can with the resources we have yes yes yeah how many meetings are a month like that we have felt like the most well we'll look at the calendar later and add them up uh, yeah Approaches 10, but I'm not yeah. sure it's quite that. I was bad. About to say, with the seven we've listed, there's also occasionally housing, Coupa. CBA, Coupa. Well, we're at like a dozen. TPZ, right? A TPZ we already have on that yeah. list. Yep. Um, ZBA is occasional. Yeah. ZBA is very rare, yeah. Economic EDC. That's yeah. right. So that, oh, that and conservation. Yeah, we all have to get conservation. Oh, can we and, try? And then the other one is, which is um, sort of throughout the history of the commission is always been the um, flavor of the month, right? The, <laughs> yeah, um, right. So there were. The country you know, club commission. Oh, that's why oh, conservation will never get taken off. Right. People who, you know, yeah. And, yeah. Um, and that's one of the things that I think um, the team needs to be well aware of um, is that at various times things will develop in town politics that some ad hoc meeting um, will end up becoming a, a gee, we're going to be covering this as our top priority for the next six months. Yeah. 
There will be a year where the TPZ has to redo the, the plan of conservation and development. And that has always, or always, the last time we did it, there were a lot of meetings involved. Yeah. Or in a few years when housing has to redo their um, affordable housing um, oh, okay. plan. Right. Like that, like last year, like last year in 2021, that's why it was such a big deal because they had to get that plan done before the middle of the year. Yep. Yeah, special town meetings. All right. Yes. Yeah. We we may go back to that now. Uh, we had like two thousand dollars worth of sound system put into the gym. Yep. That was used yep. once. Yep. We also paid for twelve thousand dollars for Wi-Fi in the gym. gym, and every other department has used it except us. Yes. And the whole idea of are using the cable advisory grant for that was so that we could start doing live meetings from all the special town meetings in the gym. And uh, and just for context, how many of those are held in the gym? It right varies. Now? It varies. Yeah. They'll have a special town meeting if, they want, if the town wants to purchase some property for open space. Anything over a certain dollar amount, the town has to go to town meeting to approve the expenditure. I uh, used to do, we've done two annual town meetings in the Amity High School now because um, the top brass uh, distrust the air handling system in the gym. Even though, even though that sound system is loud enough to overpower any fan yes. that they have on in there, I have not managed to convince them to. I think it's because the the chairs are better. I, I I think that it was. We didn't yeah. pack them in there. We packed them. Look, preliminary budget in, in in the annual town meeting did not pack them into the uh, auditorium the way they did in 2009 for the wow. country club. No, but they're nice cushy seats. They are. They are nice seats. They, yeah, they're they're more cushion exactly. friendly I than. I was, uh, I, was yeah. I was a I was a high school student when that auditorium just about came ready. Well, there's that. Special town, any kind of town meeting, town meetings. You watch for those coming up because that's usually the flavor of the month, right? Well, right. there's also um, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, which is yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember we did that. Who and I did the 9/11 on 2021. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. 2021. And I still haven't, you know, edited it for replay. I just yeah. haven't had time. It's yeah. sitting on my computer. Um, anyway, there's stuff and they'll be, they'll know what's coming up. Uh, I think while, uh, while Jerry Shaw is still here, uh, I'll let her know who to get in touch with if special selectmen's meeting comes up, for example, but she also handles a bunch of the committees and, uh, well, she does agricultural commission, which is always remote. Um, a lot of the people who take minutes for these boards and commissions are always eager to know where the link is on YouTube. Sometimes they, they, they want to know it the next morning. And yes. I don't always have the next morning. Yeah. If it's, you know, done on camera, for example, it might take a week. So um, that's all to be worked out. Uh, okay. Um, Anything else we want with Alden for? You want to hear us hash out any other details? I don't um, know. Now, I think, I think this covers things pretty well. Um, and there was nothing else in the agenda that we need to cover. Oh, recommend, yeah, recommendations for spending year end funds. I thought I could use, I thought there would be plenty left over from past uh, cable advisory council grants to cover uh, some of our spending and all the overage in personnel accounts. Uh, and then I looked at it again and realized, oh, yes, we had to replace a camera mm -hmm. and there's not as much money in there as I thought. So um, I will probably talk to Tony about it, but uh, I'm 
looking for notions about whether we want to uh, replace the desktop computer because its ether card is dead, and I've had to do a workaround to make it uh, upload as fast as it should on the town network. Um, so How old is that computer? At least five years, possibly seven. Yeah. Yeah. So but it's it's real good. It starts up. It's got an SSD, you know, operating uh, drive and in in the one terabyte hard drives for storage that is uh, not even half full. So it's it's done better than that. Mm -hmm. um, oh, software. Uh, I think in the report I sent you, I think I might have mentioned that Anna is on to. Uh, possibly beta, beta testing collaborative video editing, uh, and she's going to tell everybody else where to go to sign up for accounts so that we can try it out. Tell the makers any bugs we see, they see. I keep yeah. saying we when I mean they because yeah. I'm out of here. I'm out of here next week. It's not too bad. Yeah. And, and I, I will just You're... say that, um, Anna, I'm an old guard geek and have done a lot of that sort of stuff. So as you're kicking around software or as you're thinking about hardware, include me in those discussions. Sounds good. Yeah, I will. Um, it's just something new that actually someone from that program reached out to me on LinkedIn. And um, after meeting with them and they explained everything, they, I guess, looked into WGA TV a little bit. And that's why they were interested in having us test it out. So um, they set up my account already, but they explained to me what I got to explain to everyone else. Um, and then after that, they do want me to set up a meeting with everyone mm -hmm. next week. But that's something that I'm going to talk to you guys afterwards about. Um, but I will keep you in the loop. Good. Thank you. Okay. So there's software and hardware that people are getting ideas about. Um, what am I forgetting, guys? I'm probably forgetting something. But you know where to find me. Alden has two of my personal email accounts. <laughs> he can get a hold of me fast. Uh, I don't know. There, there's a lot we have to talk to administration about. Yep. There's a lot to talk to the selectmen about, if I guess. Right. At your end, Alden. Yeah. So, uh, well, um, do you want to meet in July or wait until August? Let's, I'm thinking, uh, Probably we need to wait until after the next board of selectmen meeting to determine when we're going to meet next. Um, because as of right now, it's just Mary and I, right? Yes. Yeah, so, you do have a scheduled meeting for Wednesday, July 26th. Okay. You know, in case you need to meet. That, that would be a regular meeting if you. If you and if the okay. next board of selectmen meeting is when? Two weeks before that, so okay, July. right. Second Wednesday in July, yeah. July twelfth. Okay, so then, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we will know by then, and that perhaps that will be a good meeting for introducing new members. Okay. Hope so. Right. Okay. Okay, and. The other thing that I'll say is, does everyone have my email address? Uh, I do not. I so, so I may. So, Pui, if okay. you can send email okay. address, you can also send my uh, um, my personal uh, cell phone number. Okay. I would attach that as a as a reply to the general staff list email yeah. that you sent us the other day. So that way we, um, that way we just have it all in one thread. It'll be easier for us to yeah. keep a better eye on. I think I have mine in there too. Let's see here. Um, do remote access. 
Okay. Contact and all them to contact. Okay. For the uh, for the grant application, I, I'm thinking about skipping the possibility of getting grants for a uh, a new TC one, only because I I don't want to like buy a new toy and have try and figure out all the kinks in it. Unless you really want to, and we can put we can put it in. I mean, how old is? It's about yeah. five years old. Yeah, I mean, the track has been used for a very long time in yeah. production. Yeah, this and, is our second. When, when I had to switch out the CMOS battery, doing surgery, I was telling Nancy about this last. <laughs> so. It honestly, in a in a twisted way, it sounded fun. Well, <laughs> it makes a good story. <laughs> It makes a good story, right? Once you clear out all the expletives, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I would I would suggest that it makes sense to put in a request for that, um, especially with it being five years old and especially um you know for the rest of the team to hear Woodbridge historically is under requested from the um for the they're going to give grants. us more money than we asked for anyway i'm going to right. put in for half the personnel amount yeah might as well the other thing is i would rather have that extra tricaster in our pocket just in case the current one yes. decides to go to put on us we do yeah. have the contract where somebody will come and you know they'll send us a swap swap something up um i like uh, the idea of you know, grant preparation training wheels. <laughs> okay. For this. Yeah. 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 And with through barber chocolate. Oh. Oh. This might be a, a two snack job. It could, oh, at least. At least. And the how long is like the warranty for that swap that you're mentioning? Oh, it's an annual contract. Oh, okay. So they just, it's yeah, just yeah. as and, long as and, you're and using we'll put the cost of that annual contract into our grant regularly. Yeah. Although it's also in the budget so that we can get it before we get all the grant money transferred. But we'll go over that too. Belt and suspenders works for me. Absolutely. But all these. Yeah, I think that there's going to need to be a list of like what's an annual contract. What what do we usually do for, with grant funding? What yeah. is a line item that we asked the town for funding for just to get a lay of the land. Totally aside from this, I, I'm, I'm tearing my hair out because they asked if we would participate in vote411.org with the other leagues in the state for municipal elections coming up in November. And I said, well, I'll do it if one other person does it. One or one other person has done it. Then she got tenure and I haven't heard from her since. <laughs> so uh, you can think of questions for uh, for selectmen or uh, or Amity Board of Ed members. I'm gonna cut it down to that. I would really like to have some sample questions to work on before we submit, because I've got a two week deadline for that. Think that's is that everybody and my email and okay send come in I'm in there and yes you are good send it to you I think you're in there. not sure but I've been in you know my I'll own I'll forward this one right now just for belt and suspenders yes okay that's back now. Yeah, I just got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Got it. Okay. Yeah, when we're done, I'd like to start up the TriCaster again and see if we still have the uh, other e drive on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, trying to figure out when I started again. Yeah. I, I can't imagine with the. Uh, it should be reparable. And if it isn't, I wrote down the thing about who to call for help. So there you go. 
<laughs> so <laughs> just one more quick clarification. So I'm seeing a um oh actually never mind I got it. I was looking at the list of contacts and I saw there was Nick Bus and Nikki B one four four and saying yeah, neither of them have a G in there. <laughs> um, but then I, I saw up at the top that I'm Nick Plus to is that. Nick G. Yeah. <sighs> My email is trying at 30 years old, so. <laughs> I had that. I still have a Hotmail account. <laughs> you, you all have heard of Hotmail, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Um, maybe I'll rewrite this with everybody's actual name on, unless you think that's too dangerous and. I mean, I, it's as far as the emails are concerned, it's something we'll, that we'll, we'll figure out with time. I and mean, that's just a matter of practice and understanding yeah. really. So I think, I think we'll figure it all. I think we'll figure it all out here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Anything else we need to cover or that you need me on for this part? Thanks for sticking with this, Holden. I hope we hold John to you for a couple of years yet, even though you yeah. have many other things to do. Yeah, well, we will see what goes. You know, I think we're all in places of lots of change going on. So, yeah, we will, yes. we will be flexible with that and, you know, do the best we can all working together. i to use my new Medicare cards okay. in a couple of weeks. Okay, in that case, um, <laughs> since I'm the only um, member of the commission here, I'll vote in favor of adjourning. And, okay. <laughs> by, by and we have adjourned, consensus. yes, by general at, consensus. At 8.45. Okay, and we'll pack, we'll pack up the owl, which uh, didn't need updating. Okay. <laughs> okay, Bye, thanks. Bye. Bye.